Did you know that up until very recently, if you broke one of these, an iPhone, and attempted to fix it yourself, then that would void the warranty. But this week, Apple did a U-turn on that and is now allowing people to fix uh, their own phones. So for today, let's discuss the right to repair. <laughs> Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And as we said, today we are discussing uh, the right to repair when it comes to iPhones. Apple recently made a U-turn, uh, changing its course uh, on people's ability to fix their own devices. As always, this uh, video is brought to you by the team over at Lion Media. Uh, head on over to check out some of the crispiest uh, photo, video, and audio content. That's www.lionmedia.com dot com head on over uh, check it out and just see uh, what the team can do for you you may have already seen the headlines but this week uh, Apple changed its course around the right to repair uh, they seem to be really leaning into this whole thing of listening uh, you know to consumers and they've made this particular change I remember a couple of uh, weeks ago um, when the new MacBooks came out with the M1 Pro and M1 Max uh, we spoke about how how they had uh, done an about turn bringing back ports you know such as HDMI SD cards and MagSafe and in the same spirit uh, they seem to be changing course on this right to repair now this will start with the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 and then they have plans to then move on to the M1 uh, range of Max and then they say that uh, it's going to be for the three uh, most common things that people tend to um, have fixed that is uh, iPhone display displays, batteries, and cameras. Before going too far, what is this right to repair thing all about? Starting with some history, we have to know that individuals that own iPhones were typically not allowed to fix their iPhones because uh, you'd end up voiding your warranty. If you owned an iPhone and it got broken, you have to take it um, you know, to an Apple store or an accredited um, repair shop, right? First. Second is the fact that a lot of independent repair shops weren't given access to genuine Apple parts and also the manuals and uh, schematics for the devices that would allow them to do repairs, right? And then, you know, third is that the ones that were accredited by Apple weren't allowed to do the full range of fixes. They had limits to what they could do or not do before they had to ship phones and devices over to Apple, you know, to then take over from that end. The impact of all of this stuff is twofold. Firstly, getting your phone repaired by Apple is very expensive. Don't forget that this is the same company that has $700 wheels uh, for its uh, Mac Pro Tower, right? So that's the first thing. And a lot of research has actually shown uh, that um, independent repair shops um, have the ability to do the same repairs that Apple does, but at a much cheaper cost. But that then leads on to the second bit, which is that um, getting your phone fixed uh, by some of these independent outlets uh, would increase the risk that something would go wrong. Apart from voiding the warranty, one of the things that would happen is that in certain cases, some of the features, because of how tightly integrated uh, a lot of these parts are inside these phones, would stop working. Because remember, these guys don't have access to genuine parts, genuine tools, and the schematic slash manuals uh, for the devices so you've got guys that kind of know what they're doing but don't have you know the full uh, breadth of information on hand looking at the business end of things it makes perfect sense because remember that Apple is a two trillion dollar company that is in the business of making money uh, by being the only people uh, that are able to fix devices or at least uh, having a hand over who can fix uh, some of these devices they are then able to control tightly keep control of the supply chain uh, tightly control what actually happens in the repair ecosystem which is apple being apple we've spoken about how much control uh, the company you know exerts um, on its supply chain at the same time they get to earn a lot of money you know from all of those repairs the parts and all of that and because apple is apple the other big move that has happened over the last couple of years is that a lot of 
manufacturers have followed suit and you see other manufacturers also not allowing their people uh, or customers to repair their own products you know sort of mandating that if something goes wrong they need to go to a manufacturer's outlet specifically to get that device fixed against all of that context the question then has to be raised about why is apple changing course on this right to repair first Apple seems to be in this mode of saying that they are listening uh, to consumers. We mentioned at the beginning already about, you know, bringing back some of the ports uh, on some of the devices. And now we're talking about right to repair. So all of that feeds into that particular narrative. And then that leads on to the second point, which is to say that this is a good news story, you know, that then works well uh, for Apple because it provides a positive narrative. At the same time, it provides it's a good PR uh, for the company. Let's not forget that Apple has been under scrutiny from uh, lawmakers in places like the US about their mon monopolistic tendencies, right? And if you think about how much control they've exerted over repair, that is a type of monopoly that they have over the repair industries for their devices. And then lastly, there's the revenue factor because uh, chances are there are many people that may attempt to fix uh, their eyes iPhones and these parts don't come for free, right? You get them from Apple, you order, there are about 200 different parts uh, that are out there. And those are all parts that people are gonna have to, um, that are gonna have to buy from Apple. And if you get your repair wrong, that's money that you may have to then fork out uh, to Apple to either, you know, fix what was originally wrong, what you ended up adding to the damage or um, subsequently getting yourself a whole new device, you know, because you messed up whatever was there. Now, whilst it's a good thing that Apple is now allowing people to fix their own devices, this is a step. It's not the whole thing. There's still a lot of things that still need to get done. We mentioned that it's just um, the camera the displays and the batteries that are being allowed to be fixed at the moment so already you have a limitation on the type of fixes uh, that get to be done and at the same time as much as Apple talks about individual customers this is more for people that have knowledge on how to fix electronic devices ordinary people should likely uh, not be trying to attempt to open up uh, their iPhones right and Apple actually acknowledges this because when you read um, what they said about about this they said that this is more for people who know what they're doing with that said though it is a good thing that apple does say that uh, if you return certain parts you do get some credit which will go towards you know buying other you know apple services or apple devices so there is that as a as a bit of a, i guess a cherry a sweetener for the whole thing so in conclusion this is a step a step probably in the right direction but a step nonetheless there's still a lot of room uh, for them to open up this right to repair as we said this is just for the screens this is just for cameras and batteries it's something that's starting in 2022 what i'm particularly excited about is two things firstly uh, because apple is apple and a lot of companies tend to follow what apple does hopefully this moves the needle on other manufacturers op also opening up their own you know right to repair to their customers the second bit is I'm curious to see uh, what else Apple is going to change course on, if at all, because they do seem to be in this listening mode right now. Very exciting to see them bringing back ports um, on the side of the Max. Good to see the progress uh, that's coming out from right to repair. I myself, I've said it time and time again, we've made entire episodes about this, about uh, the headphone jack. You know, if Apple really is listening, let's bring back that headphone jack to the iPhone. So that's been it. Thank you to everyone who's been watching. Let us know what has been your experience. Um, if ever you've had to repair an iPhone, did you go through uh, the official Apple channels? How much did you pay? And then at the same time, uh, did you ever attempt to go to someone independent or that guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows how to fix iPhones. Let us know in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey, this is Baby G and you're watching the Mob Justice channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Live it, love it, like it. This is the Mob Justice TV.